I'm going to quickly show you how to animate the size of a rectangle and tie that change in size to one of the corners of the rectangle with an expression. So let's just start off by selecting the rectangle tool, drawing a rectangle any old place in our composition panel. We're going to press the U key to reveal all of the properties of that rectangle that are not standard. Okay, Size is not standard. We're not going to worry about the stroke and the fill for right now. We are going to need to reveal the anchor point uh, of the rectangle's transform properties. This is not the layer transform properties, it's a rectangle transform properties. Okay? So what we want to do is we want to change the size of the rectangle, animate that. Uh, I don't want to keep it proportional, so I'm going to deselect the link that ties X and Y values together. And we'll start off with like 500 pixels. Hit the tab key, 500 pixels. There we go, our little square to start with. Okay? We'll set a keyframe, we'll move down here to like four seconds, and we'll, uh, let's change the width to 1,000 pixels. Okay, 1,000 pixels. Okay, now you notice that the rectangle expands uniformly. Okay, it's also slightly out of position. I'm going to reset the position. Okay, so the center of the rectangle is now right at the center of the composition. We're going to tie the anchor point to a corner by using half of the size value. Okay? Pretty easy to do. We'll just hold down the Alt Option key, drag up to the Rectangle Path Size property, and then divide that by 2. There we go. This moves the anchor point of the rectangle to the bottom right corner. If we want to move it to the top right corner, all we have to do is put a minus sign in front of the expression. Okay? If we want to have a little more control, then top left, bottom right, and let's declare a, var a variable. Let's just say the position is equal to the content of the rectangle, the size of the rectangle divided by 2. Okay, we want to start to build an array now. So we start the array with a square bracket. Okay, and we want to be on the left side, so we're going to do minus P, but we want the X value, so square bracket zero, comma. Now we need the Y value for the anchor point, so that is just P, and the Y value, which is the one in square brackets, Finish off the array and we're done. So you can you can change to the selection key, position your layer for your design, and animate to your heart's content with the size change tied directly to the anchor point. That's all there is to it.